Okay, but first let's begin with Michael Richards. He entertained millions as the lovable, lovable buffoon Kramer on Seinfeld, but there was nothing lovable about him when he went off on a racist rant on stage at a comedy club in Los Angeles over the weekend. Late last night, Richards said he's sorry. NBC's Jennifer London has the story. I'm, I'm really busted up over this, and I'm, I'm, I'm very, very sorry. On Monday night, so Michael most, Richards uh, unexpectedly audience, joined Jerry Seinfeld on The Late Show with David Letterman. For years, the two made audiences laugh as Jerry and Kramer. But this time, there was little laughter. I lost my temper on stage. I was at uh, a comedy club trying to uh, do my act, and I got heckled, and I, I, I took it badly and went into a, a rage. You guys have been talking and talking and talking! Richards was trying to put out the firestorm he ignited with racial slurs during a stand-up routine Friday night in Los Angeles. Shut up! 50 years ago, you had your own tied down with a twerk up your ass! Richards' tirade against two black audience members who were talking during his act was caught on tape and posted on the celebrity website TMZ. You can hear nervous laughter from the audience as the exchange became more aggressive. Wait a minute, where's he going? Richard's remarks drew condemnation Monday from civil rights activists in Los Angeles. We're saying to Mr. Richards that that's unacceptable hate speech. To the owner of the Laugh Factory. He's not welcome to this club. To callers on the Tom Likas radio show. Yeah, he did go off. I mean, it was it was completely inexcusable. Comedian Paul Rodriguez was in the audience and says there was nothing funny about what happened. <laughs> I'm out there going, please, Michael, you're, I'm getting old here. There's got to be a punchline. All of us expecting a punchline that never came. According to Rodriguez, Richards reopened old wounds, surprising in the face of the furor over Mel Gibson's anti-Semitic rant this summer. It is sad that him being uh, of the Jewish faith so closely on the heels of the Mel Gibson incident, the audience came here expecting to see Kramer, and they got Mark Furman. Even Jerry Seinfeld, who was previously scheduled to appear on Letterman Monday night, said he was upset by Richard's tirade. And, uh, you know, I was extremely upset about it, and uh, he is extremely upset about it, and I asked him if he would come on the show tonight. I'm not a racist. That's what's so insane about this. I don't, uh, and yet, it's said. It comes through. It fires out of me. You see, now steal those words. Those words, those words. It's now a question of whether those words or Richard's apology will ring true. For today, Jennifer London, NBC News, Hollywood. So what do you think, over and out, career-wise? Well, you know, I was reading one of the papers today that he was actually invited back to the comedy club on Saturday. He had this rant Friday, and he said he would apologize on Saturday and never said a word. So it makes this apology seem a little bit disingenuous. But I don't know. There seems to be some forgiveness in Hollywood toward Mel Gibson. Is there going to be any forgiveness toward Michael Richards? I don't know. I really don't. It's, it's bad, I'd say that much. All right, let's get a check of the weather now from Mr. Roker.